Hey guys, Austin here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mod showcase. Today we're back again in the Lycanikes mob area. We haven't finished reviewing the mod. We still have a ton of more mobs to go over, but um, today I thought we'd go over the desert ones since we live in the desert and they kind of keep spawning in. So I guess I should probably show them off. So first, let me just make sure you yeah, have on one easy. All right, so I wanted to say if you guys are excited and want to see more of this mod, or if you're sick of it and want to see other things, please comment down below and tell me what else you'd like to see, or hit that like button to show your support. And let's get this started. So, again, like nice mob mod, like nice mod. If you don't know what it is. There's explosions. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a mod that adds in a ton more very graphic looking mobs into the world, as you can probably tell by looking around at everything. And yeah, that's basically what it's about. It's also raining right now, so I think I'm actually going to weather clear 1000. Only because, um, that wasn't really 1000, that was like 10,000, but want to be light out and we don't want it to be too dreary, even though the entire area is filled with mobs. So. On that note, I think we should look in this chest right here and look at all the new mobs we'll be reviewing today. So, we have the Clink, the Crypt Zombie, the Gorgamite, the Joust, the Uripedi, the, Al the Joust Alpha, the Manticore, and the Krusk. Krusk, yes. Alright, and we'll be going from right to left today just because that's kind of how the order looks. So, first off, we got the Clink. Is a wicked metallic. I'm not going to read that entire description. It drops iron ingots and throwing scythes, which you can then use to make the scythe scepter, which is a mid damage triple pulse firing weapon with two attack damage. And like the other staffs, you can use it for power. So, anyway, oh wait, forgot. Gotta grab the diamond sword to show that off, too. Anyway, so this is the um, what's this thing called again? A clink. So, it's um, I like the noise, and if you attack it. As you can see, it's got its nice razor blade hand. If you kill it, it'll drop those um, things that you can use to make the scythe. And if you hold down, right click the scythe, it'll spam throw these things at anything within its range. Let me try to hit that thing over there. Yep. And it applies a. It doesn't say it. I thought it applied slowness, but whatever. Anyway, that is the scythe, and that is our friend, the clink. Next up, we have the crypt zombie, which drops rotten flesh. And this is him. He can come in different sizes, apparently. And if I kill him... I only got rotten flesh out of him before, but... Oh, he actually does drop gold nuggets. Interesting. And again, these all do spawn in the desert elements, so you don't have to worry about that. Let's put that back there. Put those back there. And put the Crypt Zombie away. Next up, we have the Gorgamite. The Gorgamite is one of... Not really my favorite, but more memorable because of the events that happened. March of the Gorgamites. But anyway, so this is a Gorgamite. Some weird rock spider thing, so if you kill it... It actually, here, wait, that was a bad example. If you kill it, it actually has a chance that it's not happening now to spawn in more of itself. But for some reason, it doesn't seem to be happening. But um, it drops sandstone, stone, and also flint, apparently, now. So that is the Gorgamite. Next up, we have the Joust. The Joust is a um, peaceful creature that drops raw Joust meat. Raw Joust meat, as you can see. This one is peaceful. doesn't really attack. It just kind of dies and drops its joust meat. Let me see if I can get another one out of it. Nope, that seems to be it. Um, but yeah, if you cook the joust meat, you get cooked joust meat, as you can see, and says tasty like spicy peri peri chicken. Anyway, next up we have Arapiti, which drops flint as it drops. So we have, wow, we got a rare one. So yeah, this thing looks very menacing. It's got a weird, oh god, it just shoved its claw into me. Um, it's very strong if you kill it. See, I can't really tell you how much health it has, but all I can tell you is how much it takes for a diamond sword to kill it. So it drops actually iron ore and flint. And yeah, pretty strong creature. That is the RPD. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to say, the modder actually did say that this is this version is updated to, I think it's 1.9.4. I haven't gotten a chance to look over that yet. I do apologize for that. But yeah, so this isn't the newest version of the Lycanix mod now used to be now it isn't so I probably should update that but I think just because I'm in this version right now and I'm almost done reviewing all the mobs might as well just stay here there would it would kind of be a bit confusing if I showed off like half of this version and then half of another version would kind of get weird but anyway so next up we have the alpha joust it says joust alpha but I'll just say alpha joust again drops the raw joust meat cooked joust meat um now he is actually a hostile version I mean he's an alpha male so he's got like 
I don't know, a surge's dominance on you. Mm. But, um, yep. Yeah. Alpha Jowls thingy spawns in the world. He'll look like this. The other ones will be around him, but if you attack him, they actually don't really help, I don't believe. I think they just kind of chill. And be all like, yeah, yeah, you can kill him. Who cares? He's just competition anyway. All right, next we have the Manticore. Um, you probably recognize this model in other ones that I've shown, but, um, this is the Manticore. Pretty interesting bat-flying creature. And if you kill him, you will drop stone and sandstone. I believe I did show that off here, right? Yeah, sand, sandstone and stone he will drop. So he's an interesting creature. And finally, probably the biggest creature or disgusting creature you've ever seen in your life. Um, and it drops flint and clay. It is called the Krusk. So off that name alone, you probably are already not thinking happy thoughts. Welp, this is what it is. It actually will bury itself in the sand. It's here still. It's just, it buries itself underneath the sand. And let me just show you what happens if you go into survival mode. So game mode zero. Yeah, they come right out of the ground and just attack you. And if you go back into crane mode, they will bury themselves again. I'm going to try to kill one. Once you attack it, it stays above ground. And um, it actually also drops iron ore. Interesting. But yeah, it it's not a very um, fun creature to deal with. So it drops iron ore as well. And the other one's still here, like... You can kind of tell if you run over the blocks where he is. Like, he's kind of, like, right here. Oh, yep. Hit him. And I guess you can just co sort of swing at the ground and you'll eventually hit him. And, oh, never mind. He also drops gold or it appears on a rare occasion because he was not dropping that before. Before, so let's put that in there. So he actually gets four drops. Interesting. And everything else gets two to three. So, yeah, he is definitely, like, the king of the desert, I guess you could say. Like, I wouldn't want to be walking around like, oh, look, a cactus. Let's just break that. And then he just comes out of the ground and eats us. That'd be bad. But, um, anyways, guys, I think that is going to wrap up today's, um, part of the mod showcase on the Like and Ike's Mobs mod. So, if you guys enjoyed it, please hit that like button, show your support. Do not have Optifine on 1.9, sadly, so I cannot zoom into my amazing face. But, again, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy it, please hit that like button, show your support. The down first mod will be in the description, as it always is. Um, and I guess... Yeah, subscribe to my channel to see more mod showcases, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.